So in this video, we're going to be talking about Glide, where you can basically build an app from Google Sheets in five minutes for free. And so we're going to have a complete overview. And this should be enough to get you started. So you can basically go out and start building apps. And so here I am at the main screen here. I'm going to go log in and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. All right, so here I am logged in into my account and right away we see the apps that I basically started to build. But before we do that, let's uh, try to build a brand new app so that I can show you how you can do it. So when we click on create an app, we can start from a Google Sheet. So you can have an existing Google Sheet or you can start from a template. We're going to start from a template and that way you can see the templates and all the options you have. So right away we have categories here and then you can order it uh, using different uh, different ways. You can have most copied, most purchased recently. So this is nice if you want to see some of the more popular templates. But a template essentially is, is basically a skeleton of the app uh, with the data. So it's basically a full functioning app that you can basically copy and get started with. So here we have, you know, a mobile store, Instagram, a mobile restaurant, employee directory, attendance uh, tracker, simple CRM, planner, city guide. So uh, since I like travel, let's start with city guide and let's see what kind of app that we can you know, start with and how we can customize that app. And as we do that, I'm going to be telling you some ways that you can basically get going and how you can basically modify this app to do pretty much anything that you want. And so we're going to click on this app. We're going to, we can also preview the template. So once we preview the template, we can basically see how the app looks like, what it looks like, the look and feel. And so here's the main screen. Right away, you see different tabs, right? So here's all places. You have food and drinks, attractions, and a learn tab, okay? And so the thing that you want to pay attention to is that the all places tab, this is a map view, right? So we can basically scroll around on the map. We also have various markers on the map. And if we click on the marker, we have a little bit of data, right? So these are various attractions, um, not just uh, restaurants, I guess various places that you can, you can visit. Then we have food and drink. And this is a list view. So it's the same thing, uh, except uh, if you go into food and drink, you just see food and drinks in a list view instead of a map view. And then you go to attractions, and you also can see various attractions on the map as well. And you can click on this and you're going to go to the list view. So if you go for food and drink, you can basically, you can, you can toggle between a map view and a list view. And this is pretty much, uh, so right away, you should kind of have an idea of how this app works, right? Because we have one tab for all places and you can tog toggle it as well. We have food and drink, you can toggle it. You have attractions, you can toggle it. And then you have learn which is another type of uh, tab that if we scroll down, you have, you know, you have some data, you have a title, subtitles. We're all going to uh, take a look at this in more detail, okay? And so what we're going to do is we are going to go back and we are going to copy this app and we're going to start modifying this app. So we're going to go back here and we're going to click on copy app for free. And that way we can basically start working with this app and see if we want to adopt it to our uh, needs, right? So once we do that, you want to click on this copy template and you want to click continue. And once you do that, it's basically going to copy this app, which is in this main repository, uh, to your own repository. And right away, you notice that we have a lot more options, okay? We're no longer in the previous screen. We now can modify it, we can edit, we can change the colors. We can change data, we can change tabs, we can pretty much change everything you need to know uh, or you want to do inside this app. So we're going to go into tabs and briefly we have layout view, we have tabs view and th these are the tabs here. Uh, we have data view, right? So, so here's the data and it's simple spreadsheets. We have various attractions. Remember the first three tabs are attractions uh, with varying filters, right? So maybe it's uh, attraction, food and drink or something else. And then we have a learn view, and this only has one row, one, uh, one, one uh, element here at this point. But you can add more, and, and you know all you need to do is basically copy this row and, and add a new row. But in the attractions, as you can see, there's different fields, and these are columns here, right? So we have the name, category, hours, address, phone, summary, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we can basically browse, and we have a lot of different fields. Okay, next we have we can preview it. We have various settings, 
Okay, so you can change the appearance. You can make it uh, light, bold, pure light. Uh, you can make it dark as well. It's really up to you. Uh, we have typography. We can change the fonts. Uh, this is cool. System font is cool. Maybe modern. Modern is another cool font. So I would probably uh, work with one of these. Uh, I like system. I like uh, modern. And future is also cool. But I think modern, in my opinion... Yeah, so it's up to you. I like modern. I think modern looks really cool. So we're going to leave that. So what you want to do is you want to go into layout and you can basically start working with it. So uh, in the layout, you have the properties area. You have layout features and then you have add. So you can basically add, add new items. And so if we go into layout, you can start basically modifying it, right? So right now it's a main. So for this particular tab, this is a, the layout is a map, right? We can make it a checklist. Uh, we can we can make it into a list, right? So we can make it a pure list. We're going to keep it map. And then you have various things as well. You have also a toggle as well that you can configure if you'd like. So we can click on this. You can do that. And the default view, right? The default view is a map, but you can also have a list as a default view. And once you pick the map view, it automatically adds this list view as well. And it all also automatically puts this uh, geolocation icon that you can basically click and it will be able to geolocate on your device basically show where you are now for the data for the data you have to understand that this is basically a mapping okay we have address title details image and caption so if we go to the list view you have the address you have various fields here you have the title uh, you have details you have summary and all of these are mapped into a particular field inside the spreadsheet. So if we go back to the spreadsheet, you see how it has rows. Rows are different, are basically data, right? These are different data. And so right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten rows. So ten pieces of data or five attractions and five food and drink. And 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 the columns are basically categories, right? So you have name, category, hours. And when you're creating this a, a specific view that you're working on, you need to map this data, right? So we have address is address, title is name, because if we go back to data, you're going to have name here. And this is the title that's in that list view, right? Because this specific view, if you create a map view, right, every one is going to have different, right? So for instance, if you create the map view, you're going to have these data items, okay? So if I go back to the map view, you know, if I click on something, it needs to display something. And so depending on the style, well, it's calling it a style, but I would call it a view, uh, which is the same thing, really. Depending on the style that you're working with, uh, you need to basically map things, right? So if you're working with a compact view, like I have here, you need to map title to something, details to something, image to something, only three fields. If you're working with a map view, you have five fields. You have to map address, title, details, image, caption. And these are fixed, right? If you go to the details field, which is uh, this field here. And I guess this is learn is also a details field, right? This is what the details view looks like. If you go to the details view or style, depending on how you want to call it, you have various components, right? So you have title, you have action, and, and you see this green uh, little indicator that's basically telling you what it is. And we can click on that and you can basically map each of these uh, kind of fields to specific fields, right? So this title is actually, so if we click on title, it's actually a collection of a bunch of fields, right? It's actually a collection of four fields, title, details, image, and then image is a URL, right? You can also map from address. And so you have to map all those fields. So it knows how to display the actual um, view correctly, because depending on where you are, so we were at the map view, we're gonna go back to the map view. And we also have the favorites here, and this has no configuration. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it hasn't been set up yet. And then we can go to food and drink. And this is also the map view, right? So we can click on this. It's also a map view. We can make it a list view. So when we make it a list view, it's you're, you won't be able to toggle back and forth, right? With the map view, you can basically toggle back and forth, which is which is kind of makes sense. And then you can do various things. Now, you can modify all this. And, and my recommendation when you're starting out is you want to start out with a... Uh, from a template, right? Because you be basically, you don't want to start from scratch because when you're starting out, you don't yet know the functionality of what's possible with this tool. You always want to start with templates. That's why templates 
that's why templates exist because they basically allow you to learn the, the, the entire functionality of the app. It's basically a showcase for the app. And you definitely want to start with the um, with the templates. You don't want to start from scratch later on when you understand how everything works, when you understand the styles, the features, uh, the search bar, you can remove the search bar here. And this is basically the features for, for this. Uh, you will be able to basically build an app from scratch later on once you gain more experience, et cetera, et cetera. So, so one thing I want to bring to your attention is this, this tab, for instance, this is basically, it's filtering data. And as you can see, there's a filter here. And it's also storing it, right? There's also an in-app filter that you can basically, you can do an in-app sort. But these are basically filters for a specific view, right? So for instance, food and drink, it's basically the same view as all places, except not only it's a, it's also a map view and attractions is a map view. It's the exact same copy of all places, except it has a filter, okay? In this case, it's food and drink. If you go into attractions, the filter is going to be attraction. So it's a way for you to basically filter a long list and make it easier to get to, right? So if I'm looking at all places and I'm only interested in food and drink, you know, I don't want to see attractions or vice versa. If I want to see attractions, I don't want to see food and drink. So it makes things a lot easier. I can just go into attractions and start basically browsing around here. I can go to food and drink and start basically browsing around here. The learn is a completely different one. Like I said, the learn, this is the detail style or view. And it has a bunch of components, right? You have, it has an image component, has a title, and you can basically copy this, right? You can basically copy this and map it to something else, right? I basically copied and basically placed it below. So we're going to delete it. We can also move it around just by dragging and dropping it. But I'm going to delete it. And then you can basically create it. Now, the thing about it, like I said, is that you need to map. So for instance, this image... This is a user-defined field title. I can call this whatever I want. It, it just needs to be mapped correctly. In this example, it's mapped to the gallery. And if we go back to data, you're going to see a gallery uh, field here. So if we scroll down, you will be able to see a gallery field somewhere here. So if we scroll down, you're going to see it. You're going to see a gallery. So if we go learn, you're going to see a gallery here, right? So this is the gallery. It's basically multiple images that has been set, right? This is set as gallery. So if we go back here to our layout, this is set as a gallery uh, because that has multiple images and we can basically scroll through these images. At least we should be, be able to scroll through these images in the live app because this is basically a gallery view. So as you can see, you can even scroll it here in this uh, emulator as well and you will be able to scroll it. So it's very easy to do. So this layout is a details layout. We have an image. We have a title. If you click on title, uh, this is also a bunch of fields. We have the title, subtitle, image. And then if you go to the rich text, you also have the body here that's mapped to the body field. So if we go back to our data, you're going to see where it's mapped. It's mapped right here. So this is a city guide. And this is in the detail view. It's basically pulling up this record. Okay, so we're going to go back here. And we're going to go back to the tab, the layout. And then in the tabs view, uh, you can also configure your tabs. You have all places, and then you can basically set up a icon for it. You can do all these interesting configurations. So this is very, very to easy to create an app basically from your data that you have in, in a spreadsheet. So whether you have that, da that data in Excel or uh, Numbers or anywhere else, all you need to do is basically import it into Google Sheets and connect it with the app and then basically map the fields together and you're going to have a fully functional app that you know people can basically browse on their phone okay and so this concludes our basically initial overview of this tool the glide tool for creating simple mobile apps using your google sheets data okay in the future videos i plan to be making a more thorough tutorial where I'm gonna be digging deeper and we're also gonna be building an app from scratch. So I really hope you've gotten value here. If you wanna see more tutorials such as this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be making a lot more videos in the future that you definitely do not want to miss. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a future video.